Hello creators, welcome and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, I'm going to share the secret to exporting the high quality video in Adobe Premiere Pro. To get started, make sure you have the project completed on your timeline. Once you're happy with your project, you're gonna go on the left top of your screen and you will click on export. If you don't see the option is export here, you can also go to file and you will see the, the option is export here, export media, or you can press command M on your computer. Either way is fine. Now you are here on the exporting screen. Make sure this file media is checked, it is blue. On the top one first where it says file name, you're gonna name your video, let's say sample export. I'm gonna just name it for now. And then you see this blue link area, which you're gonna click here and you can select wherever you would like to save your project. In the preset, you can pick whichever you like. We can start with YouTube 1080p HD, but later on we are going to save it as an actual preset for our video. In the format, make sure it is H264. You will have other options, but keep it H264. Now here you see on the video, it make sure this is also blue. You're gonna click on the arrow and make it open. Make sure this is 1920 by 1080p. You can also do match source if you like, which will be done automatically by everything. So your frame rate is 29.97, which is also like 30 frames. Then you have testing progressive, everything else. So match source is actually the best option to click on. Then you're gonna go here and click on more. The first option is says render at maximum depth. Yes, you do want it so that you'll have a maximum depth in your video and then use maximum render quality. These are the two things, make sure you are checked. Leave this sample, frame sampling, hardware encoding. You do wanna use hardware encoding if your computer supports it. If not, then you will go by software encoding. Picture profile, you're gonna uncheck that and change it to high because you want it higher quality. Quality. Now come down a little bit. You're gonna leave the HDR graphic as wide nits and 75% highlight. I mean, you can change it if you like, but come here to the bitrate setting. In the bitrate, you see you have a variable bitrates and then you have the other option as the constant bitrate. If you keep it constant bitrate, it's gonna stay the constant throughout the video. But if you select one and then you make this one only 50, your file size is gonna go higher. You see that it's not even 50. So if I make this one 50, higher bitrates means higher quality better depth in your pixels. You see my file size is now it's 591. That's why I'm gonna go change variable bitrate to two and I'm gonna keep this one 20 and the other one 50. Now you can see how much storage I'm saving here. Finally, you're gonna come here in the audio, make sure this is also checked and the audio format is AAC, codec 48000 HZ and stereo. You want it stereo because you want the audio to come from both sides and the rest you can leave it the way it is. If you have a caption, you make sure you're gonna burn the caption. I don't have a caption in this video, so I'm not gonna do anything about it. Once you're happy with everything here on the setting, which now you're gonna do is you're gonna save it as a preset. So click here and click on the save preset. You can name it export as YouTube or social media, whatever you like. I'm gonna just name it like that, you click okay. Now, next time you just have to click this in the preset. So when you come here, you will have one of the options as export as preset and you're gonna click on that and you will click export. If you are using media encoder, I would highly recommend to download media encoder. This will speed up your exporting process. But if you don't have it, then you can just hit export and then it will start exporting. As always, if you like this video and learn something new, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Maybe they will learn something new as well. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss any new videos on tips, tricks and new updates like this. I will see you again with another exciting video. Until then, my lovely friends, take care and keep creating.